Hi, this is Shoshana, Dr. Shoshana Garfield. I'm still in San Jose and I wanted to share with you some awesome stuff that happened yesterday about judgment. And uh, it was very, very touching. I had the most amazing day riding by the sea yesterday. I was in a real Americana diner and the the wind, I had a seat by the window, which, you know, a yard away was the beach, a meter away was the beach. And it was so beautiful and I was being so productive. and. This guy came up and started chatting to me, and uh, he had seen me drive up earlier in my, my fancy uh, rented sports car that I had splurged on for my holiday, and he was telling me things like, um, he's got five sports cars and he bets that all of his are faster than mine. It's like, oh, are we competing then? And uh, things like, well, if you're so smart, how come you're not wealthy like I am, and things like that. And he's got his push bike that he rides, presumably because he had too much, uh, got too, caught too many times driving whilst intoxicated. So, and I found myself in the conversation, noticing myself falling into judgment over this guy. And he said something which turned it all around for me. I'm very grateful to him for this. It was, I don't know where I'm going to go after I die, but at least I had a lot of fun. You're boring, Dr. Garfield. And the first part of it, I don't know where I'm going to go when I die. It told me that he's afraid of where he's going to go when he dies. And I had something, a basis for which I could really feel compassion for him that he had given me. Of course, it was there before, but I had been close to it. And I responded, you know what, I don't think there's anywhere else to go but heaven. And in that one moment, he looked at me, his eyes suddenly came alive for just a moment and then he disappeared behind his competitive glaze again and in the moment where I had felt compassion for him all the judgment disappeared and I was able to stay in that space for the rest of the conversation and I felt really gifted by having the interchange and he went on his way I went back to my writing and just as I was finishing for the day, I looked up in the sky, and <laughs> unbelievably, there was a cloud that looked exactly like Great Britain, there goes the tram outside, minus Ireland, and I, I was just felt so touched, it's like, you know, who knows how that cloud got there, or, or what it may mean, but for me, I allowed it to be for me, the meaning I made out of it was a reminder that I'm always home, and it was really beautiful. So very best wishes for you to be at home wherever you are, to live in your compassion with everyone you'll meet, or at least be reminded into it as soon as possible. Very best wishes. Bye for now.